What's good, Nessa Gang? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's good? Make sure that thumbs up, subscribe, and be part of Nessa Gang because Nessa Gang is the littlest gang of all gangs. Today is Tuesday, November 12th, two days before my surgery. I fly out to Miami tomorrow. I will be arriving around 9, 10 a.m. ish. I have to go to my pre-op appointment. They said I could show up anytime before 12, but I have a lot to do. I've signed papers. They got a camera crew down there and they're supposed to be filming me. My flight is at seven in the morning and i'm trying to leave the house by or before five in the morning i will barely even get any sleep tonight but anyways i'm really nervous i don't really do sit down talks because i feel like they're really boring but i'm gonna do that for you guys because there's a lot that i want to say so i've been having this bbl procedure scheduled for some time now like i had bought it before i even knew i was pregnant with my daughter winter so when i found out that i was pregnant it kind of went hand in hand because i was like i can't get rid of the baby despite of what anybody thinks that's a whole nother story time but anyways long story short i was like this perfect time you know i just get the baby out the way and then the fat that i have after the baby i could just distribute that into my butt i've been having it scheduled for a while so when i found out i was pregnant i had to reschedule two to three months after i was supposed to give birth and they called me and they're like this is too soon you have to wait six months i'm like really because these celebrities literally after they give birth they snap right back they got that shape but I don't know, maybe, who knows, who knows the real reason, I didn't really look into it, but I was like, listen, this is my life on the line, it's one of the most dangerous plastic surgeries that you can ever get, so I'm gonna listen. So yeah, it's approaching, and before I was like, not even thinking about it much, because I knew I still had a long time before my surgery, of course I would think about it randomly, um, it made me feel better that I was getting surgery, so when I ate stuff, I didn't have to think about it too much, because... I'm a type of person where I really pretty much maintained my weight for as long as I could remember. I was always between 110 to 115-ish. My weight never like really drastically fluctuated. So the fact that I can eat whatever because I was getting surgery and all that stuff just made me feel better because even though my weight didn't fluctuate, I was always kind of like self-conscious about what I ate. Like, dang, you're eating too much or ate or you know what I'm saying? Like I was just like really self-conscious about eating too much because I'm not really a big workout person. For the past week, I've been like looking up so much stuff all over again. It's just like right before I booked the surgery all over again. Like I'm looking up video after video after video, looking at everybody's results, looking at what you need, what you don't need, looking at the bad stuff, looking at the good stuff. I'm super nervous. I'm getting super anxious. Like my heart is beating pretty fast right now. I'm like one of those people where I have to have everything to the T. I have to know what to expect i have to mentally be prepared for anything it took me a long time to like plan everything out i'm the type of person to wait to the last minute to do everything i've just been like on edge like dang i booked this flight what if something happens i have to change my date then i lose all my money and then i ended up booking the airbnb a couple days ago that i'm like dang i got the flight booked and i got the airbnb booked and they said if anything goes wrong they still take the first nights money and they only give you half so i'm losing out on a lot of money what if things don't go right at the airport and then yesterday i was looking for the baby's birth certificate because that's what i used when i flew to michigan the first time they asked for that and i had it and now i'm looking through all of her papers and stuff and i can't find it so i'm freaking out i called american airlines they said that i don't need anything but just to bring something just in case so i have her social security pray to god that that is good enough and then when i booked the flight um they were all pretty like expensive so i booked the um it's called the hidden city so basically like if i go through with the flights i would have a layover in miami and then i'm supposed to get on another plane to go to chicago so that's what i got sometimes when you fly when you get to the gate they're like okay it's full to capacity from now on whoever has bags we're going to check them in and they're going to be sent to the last destination so basically if the plane is too full and me and Zav are the last people on they're going to take and check our bags but if they check our bags it's going to go to chicago so we're literally going to have nothing that we came with so that is nerve-wracking that's very scary <laughs> i plan to not bring much i plan on just buying everything there so the first day is gonna be crazy because as soon as we get there i'm gonna have to get ready and go straight to the unique aesthetics so they can tell me everything i sign papers and all that stuff i gotta go straight there and then after they're gonna give me a list of stuff that i need so i'm gonna be running around from store to store trying to get what i want to get on top of that i was hoping to you know at least sightsee a little bit because 
once you get a surgery, I'm not gonna be able to be as mobile. I'm not gonna be able to stand right. I'm not. I'm, I'm probably not gonna feel that well. So it's just a lot. They say you can leave from five to seven days, about five to eight days. And I just cut it off at the line. Like I plan on coming back five days after the surgery because I don't want to stay there too long and spend extra money. And that'll be me and Xavier's first time, obviously the baby. Um, to Miami, but we're honestly just gonna have to come back another time to explore. So that kind of sucks, but um, if we're buying everything there, we'll probably like hit up a mall um, tomorrow. Anyways, I want to cry. Like I'm a cancer. I'm like very emotional and sensitive, and I didn't think it was gonna hit me this hard. I thought I was just gonna be like a let's just get it over with. It like I rescheduled it hella times. Like I'm just ready to get it done. But honestly, it's so nervous. I'm seeing all these videos and I know it's gonna be tense and I just hope my boyfriend I talked to him last night and I was like can he just please be strong for me like because I know I'm gonna be mentally not prepared probably I don't know some girls are like hey okay after and I'm the type to take pain pretty well I'm thinking that I'm not gonna be those type of girls that have like hella complications but then again who knows I don't want to jinx myself so yeah he doesn't like blood or anything so I'm like you gotta be strong for me there's gonna be a lot of blood I might I'm not gonna be able to really take care of myself that good and when we have you in the bathroom and take a shower he's like I'm like, yeah, so I need you to be prepared because I'm not going to want to argue. I'm not going to want to fuss and fight. Like, if I feel like I'm being neglected, I'm going to be really sad and emotional. And it's it's just not going to be a good thing. So you need to be on your P's and Q's. Um, I'm kind of glad that, um, you know, I got pregnant and had my daughter because I got more fat than I had before. I um didn't really have that much. Like, I have the pictures on my phone of what I sent them in the beginning. And they said I was a good candidate. And back then, I felt like a little thick and if i was thick i'm gonna be thick in the right areas i felt like i was a little bit boxy but now it's like more you know what i'm saying and i feel like a lot of me gaining weight after the baby is because when i stopped breastfeeding i was super skinny like i literally snapped back if not smaller than before i had a baby when i was breastfeeding and then as soon as i stopped which was like two months after that's when i started gaining weight faster and then i just really didn't care because i knew i had the surgery but anyway the reason why i chose dr fisher is because i saw so many good reviews two years ago when i was looking into bbls and he had the most natural results and my biggest thing was finding somebody who was one experience one board certified and another thing was have they worked on small petite people because i am 411 and before I had the baby, I believe I was 117 pounds. So that's pretty small. I have most of my weight in my legs. My arms always seem to kind of get big. Now, basically I have enough fat. I know I have enough fat because I was literally just, well, I didn't even know that skinny BBL, BBL skinny was a thing. So I just literally looked that up randomly. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if he's done it out. Like people do skinny people. And I've seen like crazy results on like, super super petite people smaller than me i don't know if they're taller than me though because they fail to tell their height and weight but yeah 411 before baby 117 and then uh, my six month post baby i was 119 but since i gained weight since then i don't know i think i'm 122 ish i don't know don't quote me when i get there they're probably gonna weigh me and they're probably gonna tell me but anyway guys keep me in your prayers i am so so shook, so shook. I knew like all procedures, you know, you have a risk of death and they're like high risk, but I didn't know that this was the number one craziest, riskiest procedure. So just pray for me. I just be, I just get so emotional because I look at my daughter like, dang, what if? You know, that's not a good way to think, but like what if things went left? Like I would never get to see what you look like when you get older. I'm never gonna be able to take you to get your nails done for the first time. Like we can't have those moments, but I'm not about to think about that because it's gonna go smooth, right? Right. So when I paid, I'm not sure if it was a sale or not, but 5,500 or I paid 6,500. As far as the doctor, everybody said that he was really nice and made him feel really comfortable. I was watching a lot of BBL um, journeys and a lot of people that didn't go to where I'm going said they didn't have very good experience. Like their doctors didn't care about them and it was like really quick. They didn't even ask them what they wanted. They didn't care for pictures and all that stuff. So I heard the very opposite from the doctor I'm going to, which makes me feel comfortable. When I was first doing like research and 
stuff and trying to find videos on BBLs back then, like when I booked um, the surgery, there wasn't that many videos on it. So I knew that I wanted to film it because if somebody wanted it done, I wanted to give them my 100% like to the T story time. I want to tell them how it feels, what I think, what to expect, all of that stuff. I want somebody else to know um, pretty much everything is repetitive, but some people's experiences are different than others. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to show you guys my journey. I don't want to go from a box to a coke bottle overnight and you guys not know i'll show you guys like what i look like and all that stuff the day before i'll show you guys what i look like like the before and the problem areas that i'm having i'm debating whether i want my hair like this basically curly and natural i'm not gonna be able to do stuff for myself Xavier's gonna have to like help me put my hair up and stuff and i'm pretty sure he's not gonna be up for that he hates when i ask him to do my hair so I'm thinking about wearing this wig. I took some pictures and videos in it. It makes me look grown. It's a bob, so it's really short, which is perfect because I can just put it in a ponytail really quick without doing the most. I won't have to wash my hair. But if I put it on, I'm going to have to make sure it's like super, like super snatched, glued to my head because that would not be good. Like if it's lifting a couple days after and then like now I got to wear headbands and all types of stuff and then it's itching, then it's halfway off. Like that's going to be really annoying. So but I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. Like I'm ready, but I'm not ready. So if you have any questions or concerns or just anything in my community tab on YouTube, I'm going to ask for questions. So then you'll put your questions there. Well, yeah, this is my mental breakdown. I still have to pack and all that stuff. Maybe I should film all of that. I don't know. I halfway packed the baby's bag. Xavier has yet to pack. We have to wake up at like three, four in the morning. So that's going to be really interesting. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.